We are changing the political climate and the mood of the society. I feel that I'm in exactly right place where I have to be right now. This is Ben Solomon reporting from Russia for the New York Times. 23-year-old Olga Zueva has been campaigning nearly three days a week, talking with as many people as she can about Russian opposition leader and mayoral candidate Alexei Navalny. The main technique is just to be honest, to smile to people, so they will feel comfortable with you. This year, an energized community of young, post-Soviet volunteers has rallied around Mr. Navalny, showing a new sense of political energy in Moscow. <laughs> it's not about Navalny, it's about our approach to like, be more active. Campaigning here in Moscow hasn't been seen in years. Voting was seen as a pointless exercise, as Kremlin-backed candidates were always expected to win. As an outspoken blogger and critic of the Russian government, Navalny was convicted in July for what most considered to be concocted embezzlement charges. He was sentenced to five years in prison, only to be released a day later after large protests. His trial was pushed back to an unknown later date. He still may be rearrested at any time. Я самый обычный москвич. Вот ровно точно такой же, как и вы. Of the six candidates running, Navalny has drawn the most attention. He says 14,000 volunteers have signed up for the campaign, helping organize public outings like stump speeches by Mr. Navalny. As many as three in a day and five on the weekends. Спасибо вам огромное. And the Kremlin are apparently a bit nervous. He's campaigning like he is an energy machine. <laughs> Navalny is a personality, a man with amazing political talent in a country where there, there has been no politics. These mayoral elections will be Moscow's first in a decade. President Vladimir Putin abolished regional elections across the country in 2004, but they were restored last year in an attempt to placate protesters. <laughs> after massive anti-government protests broke out in Moscow, sending tens of thousands to the streets, led in large part by Mr. Navalny himself. Despite the challenge for Mr. Navalny, the Kremlin-backed incumbent mayor, Sergei Sobyanin, has barely campaigned at all, refusing to take part in the debates and making only a few public appearances, like singing on the Moscow radio station, urging people to go to the polls. With only a few days until the elections, the chances of Navalny actually winning remain very low. Nonetheless, he has shaken at least some of the apathy around elections here in Moscow. Even if he is not going to win, people will start to understand that there is some alternatives in our politics. There are a lot of young people who care about what is going on.